What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm the Kawasaki Crusader and today we're going to be installing our shift power full race unit. Uh, we're going to install the ECU for it. We're going to install the quick shifter and we are going to install the pit lane speed limiter as well. So in order to do that, um, and of course activate launch control and set all of that fun stuff up that we're installing we do need the rear stand uh, rear paddock stand rear race stand whatever you want to call it that's what we need so we're gonna um, start by making sure that we get the correct length for our quick shifter now shift power does a great job at um, knowing what size that is so they give you what's going to fit but it's not all put together so we're gonna have to do that and also before we take anything off we're gonna mark with tape where our uh, current positioning is so that it's comfortable whenever I put it all together and get back on so let's go ahead and start with that we'll start simply by connecting the two of these and comparing so you can see it's a little long right now so we're gonna put edge to edge and see probably about maybe an eighth of an inch long not even but that's still too long so we're gonna keep going See where that puts us. Uh, I'd say that's about spot on. So that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and mark best I can where this thing sits and um, get right back to you. All right, not the most beautiful tape job, but you can see I've got the roundabout area marked where my shift lever is sitting right now. Um, my shifter, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start disassembling. You actually, before you can even start installing everything, you need to remove the gas tank. So I'm going to get started on removing the gas tank and setting it up over here on my work table. That way it doesn't get scratched up or anything. But anyhow, wish me luck, boys. All right, so the first thing I did was I removed the two bolts that hold the steering damper to the uh, frame. Those also mount the gas tank to the frame, so I removed those. That gives you the ability to lift up on the gas tank a little bit. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and remove my side panel fairings. That way they're out of the way and um, start disconnecting the fuel lines and fuel pump. All right, guys, we've got the gas tank completely removed now. Bike's starting to look a little, a little funky. So I undid this, that came off just fine. This came off just fine. And then I left the EVAP connected. Just gonna reroute it whenever I put the tank back on. So next, we've gotta start on doing stuff on here so we can get the air box out of the way and get down to the ignition coils. Either way, this is all coming together real nice. It's coming apart. So I'm gonna get started on removing the air box and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, I was having some issues getting this off, but I finally figured it out. Um, there was a screw in the middle that I was missing. Anyhow, you gotta take all these Phillips screws off that hold this thing around. Take your air filter. I took my air filter out and moved it out of the way. You don't really have to, but I did. I'm also gonna be replacing it. That's definitely not breathing very good. The goal here is to get down into the ignition coils, which are all right here. That way we can unplug them sequentially and plug in our race units in order the way that it's supposed to be. Hide all the wires the way that they need to be hidden and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna start on that. I'm gonna start plugging everything in and then routing wires. All right, guys, I got my little helper with me now. Yeah, she's gonna help me finish this install because she's a good girl. So, I got the race unit plugged in to the coils. You can see I tried to hide everything underneath where all the uh, stock wires were. I'm gonna tuck them up a little bit nicer. 
and then I'm going to run this alongside the air box and zip tie it in with the rest of the wiring harness. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, I just got this all connected, so I'm going to be putting the air box back together and hiding wires. So good thing I got my little helper with me. Anyhow, we're going to get back to work on this. So I'll check back up with you soon. All right, so I got the air filter back in and the air box reassembled, this little guide plate back on. The next thing I'm going to do before I start running the wires for the race unit is I'm going to go ahead and attach the ground wire right here to the main ground on the bike in the center of the frame. So that's where everything else is grounded. I'm just going to put this in and in order with everything else. All right, I've got the ground right there next to the ground for the power commander and all the other grounds for the bike so i'm gonna route the wires over here underneath everything up that away zip tie them together and then put the fuel tank on and start to uh, work on the quick shifter all right what i've done is i've went ahead and installed the quick shifter sensor and um i got it all lined up around about where it was before I sat on it sort of <laughs> and uh, it feels about normal where my foot normally sits so I like it so now we've got to route this wire up to the ECU and everything get everything hooked back up buttoned up and call it a day probably so now that the quick shifter is installed we have to route the wiring for it now I don't have the uh, race unit exactly where I want to keep it but it's close, so we're going to route this wire up to it. Up around through the frame. Over here through the, where the battery is. And we're going to plug it right in. To where it's supposed to be. That's that click you want to hear. All right, we got the quick shifter sensor installed. Now I'm going to hide that wire and put it where it goes. All right, guys, so reading through the instructions, it says to take a quick connect that snaps through an existing line in the wiring harness to tap into it and snap it onto your rear wheel speed sensor and there is not a rear wheel speed sensor on a 2008 to 2010 ZX-10R. There is a, a front wheel speed sensor and it's really hard to get to and I almost missed it. So that little plug right there, you can see where I unplugged it from. Uh, that's the plug, I unplugged it from back there. That is hard to get to and you have to have that plugged in. So so that this will work properly. So this is what you're plugging into it. It comes with a shift power kit. All right, guys, kind of a weird way to be, but it's in there plugged in. And that pink wire running off of it is gonna run all the way up here to the uh, race unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug into the race unit. It's plugged in. So now that we've got that plugged in, the last thing I've got to do is run this ground wire and run this blue wire back here to the full race unit. And then I'm done hooking everything up. I just need to hide wires, put the gas tank back on, and actually set this unit up. Okay, guys, so I've got the pit lane speed limiter connected. I actually had to run its ground right there because the ground on the main middle of the frame was full. Didn't have any more room. But the blue wire runs to the full race unit. The black wire runs to that ground. And then I finally got the uh, speed sensor connected. It's all hooked up. Basically, all I've got to do now is clean up this wiry mess, put my gas tank back on, put my seats back on, and adjust everything. So that's what we're going to do.
all right welcome back guys it's a new day we ran into darkness by the time i got everything connected so i didn't get to finish everything yesterday but i got the wires cleaned up quite a bit better and the race unit sitting where i'm going to eventually apply its velcro but i wanted to show you guys how to set everything okay so now we're going to set and test the launch control first thing you want to do is unplug your shift sensor that's this big plug here in neutral go ahead and start the bike put it in first gear rev up to the desired rpm Plug your speed sensor, or plug your shift sensor back in. Just like so. And now, we're ready to test it. Alright, so the launch control does work now. So this is what you do. Pull in the lever, put it in first gear. So it's a little bit finicky, but it does work. Hopefully the bike will start now because the battery has been pretty weak. I wanted to show you guys the process and everything. I'll eventually strap the camera to my helmet and make a video of me using the quick shifter. But wanted to finish up last night's video. So thanks for tuning in, guys. It was a lot of fun. And uh, hope it will be helpful for anybody trying to install one of these on their bikes in the future.